first thank you for clicking on my video and i am sure you're having a fantastic day when it comes to interface design fixed constraints are vital it gives the design a certain consistency and consistency make the design perfect so the grid system gives that constraint and almost every website follows this grid system to make the design visually appealing and we're going to talk about this grid system in figma hi this is ab abil welcome to my channel design thinking let's get into it Let's start with the desktop view and I'm using this desktop size for each platform from Figma. Select frame tool and select desktop. Now this is a standard desktop view with a 1440 pixel width. Now select a layout grid. This is the default grid view but for now I'm going to use columns for this. Now let me just pause it here. Let's understand the anatomy of this first. This is called a column or it could be a row or even a grid as well. This gap between the columns is called gutter and this gaps in both sides is called margin. Okay, all clear? Now let's continue. For desktop view, I'll put 12 columns. The websites that I have showed previously all followed the 12 column grid system for desktop view. This will be the stretch. I'll put gutter 24 pixel. For margin, you have few choices depending on your design. Either you can put 24 pixel, which is the same as the gutter, or you can put 32 pixel, slightly larger than the gutter, or you can put 120 pixel as well. This will give you a 1200 pixel wide container to work on. Remember, this frame size is 1440 pixel. Let's move on to the tablet view. For tablets, we can follow the guidelines by Google Material Design or either by Apple's guidelines. You can find the links in the description below. So as it says here, for a large tablet, that means that screen width is more than 840 pixel, then the column will be 12 with a minimum 32 pixel margin on both sides. So let's pick an iPad for this design and as the guideline says, I will put 12 columns. But the instruction also says margin and cutter can be flexible. So you can go with 24 pixel as well as 32 pixel depending on the design demand. Finally, let's move on to the phone. And I'll pick a iPhone 13 Pro Max for this design. For phones, it says 4 columns and 8 pixel margin on both sides. Again, you can play with the margin and the cutter number as per your design demand. Now let's talk about the desktop website that has a side navigation bar. Remove this one. I am taking two frames inside the main frame. Place this one on the left side. Reduce the width for it. And next one is for body content. Let's rename it quickly. For this one, I will take the layout grid but with just one column. Let's pick the margin for 24 pixel. And for body content, I'm going to take 8 columns with 24 pixel margin and 24 pixel cutter. Let's pick another one for the top navigation bar. Let me just pull this out from this frame and place it on the top. Change the height and I will take row for this one. And put 8 pixel on both sides as a margin.
give this sidebar left constraint and this one to left and right constraint. This top bar is also the same. Now as you can see this site is full responsive with a fixed site navigation bar. In this video I have covered most common platforms but there are more like wearables like a smartwatch or a screen on the fridge, a screen on the ticket counter, there are infinite number of screen sizes. But you just have to use this knowledge and use your best judgment for fixing the boot system. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want more videos like this please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.